when you've got your four cuts to this side and to that put it in the vise and chisel them out uh, in boxwood you certainly need a blunt chisel you start off with a sharp chisel uh, but the grain goes all over the hockey so you finish it with a blunt chisel and you can approach it from both ways again so you don't if, if you're working always this way you might damage the mouse so I work from both ways top and bottom right then you do that face there this face here chisel that out to your three quarters again like that and that 60 de 63 degree angle uh, I must have measured I must have set that up to explain it in the book because I don't normal I just guess it's to allow the shavings to come out. So in other words, uh, you want room in front of the uh, iron and the wedge for the shaving to come out. Like that. Then what? Then it's... Um, yeah, you clean that all out then and, and then and that's all done then you do the shaping I put it in the vise I have a line here I normally do it in the centre of the plane it's not, in, it's not too much important but you in this instance you're taking more off the back than the front because we've got different measurements there but I still put a line down the front and I rasp it, rasp most of it up the grain with a very coarse rasp. Well, I'll show you the rasp I use. Uh, it's in the vise, you've, you've got this line to work to. So I take the majority off like that because you can keep your eye on the line. If you're doing it down there, you can't see your line so easily. I keep I keep the line in the sun, and uh, it rasps quite easily. Finishing off with sandpaper or a, a fine file. So you do all those that one, that one, that one, and that one, and I sand it. Uh, you know, just with a sanding block making sure you work into that line. When you've done that, you set your chamfers out. First of all, to, wherever you want your chamfer to finish, in this instance it looks about halfway down the plane, but there's no set rule. You can have it shorter or you can have it longer. I uh, use a, sometimes use a gouge, but generally speaking I use a file. So I, I file a bit out there, a bit out there, and so on. As, as you can just probably see. So a lot of planes don't finish perfectly smooth there. They have a gouge mark or a file mark. M most of them have a gouge where they've just took a chunk out and then they work the chamfer into it. But if you want to be extremely neat or you want to do it this way, I don't always do it this way. I do it the old-fashioned one as well. So when you've got your gouge mark or your file line there, set, I do it with a pencil. I go like that, freehand, and, and along there. And then I do along there. You want to just, in this instance, just leave a little tiny bit of timber there and there and a bit there and a bit there. Now when I said this is an inch, 
stop now.